friends today are gonna draw a cherry blossom tree. Yeah, it's springtime right now and the trees have blossoms all over They're them. They're like bright pink. Bright pink, <laughs> that's what we're gonna draw today. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need drawing supplies. Something to draw with. Yeah, we're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to cool with. All right, let's start. Yeah. We're first gonna draw the trunk of our tree and let's start down here towards the bottom so that we can draw a big tree. So we'll draw the trunk. We're gonna draw a wiggly line that comes up. Because all trees are different. Yeah, they are different. That's what makes this lesson even more fun because you can change the drawing. Okay, now let's draw the other side of our trunk. And I'm gonna draw it coming up like this. Look at the bottom, it kinda gets wider at the bottom. And then it's also wobbly, but still going the same direction. Yeah, cool. Now let's start drawing the branches. I'm gonna draw one branch that comes off to the side. Let's draw another branch that comes off to this side. And then let's draw a branch right in the middle. I'm gonna leave some space and then come up further like this and maybe go off to the side too. All right, now let's connect the left side. We're gonna draw the other side of this branch. Look at this, we're coming up, and then maybe it branches off again. And follow along and then up. <coughs> yep, <Yeah>, right. <laughs> Let's do the same thing over here. Let's draw a branch that comes down, and then it gets closer to the tree, and then let's come out to the side. Oh, that's cool. And then we can also make another branch on this side. Okay, now let's draw the inside of each of these branches. I'm just gonna draw a little V like that. Then we could also draw, let's draw a little V right here. Or like a check mark. Oh yeah, it kinda <laughs> does, yeah, it does look like a check mark. We're gonna add a couple more branches on this top part. I'm gonna draw another one that comes down like this and then out. Oh, I like how you connected it. That's cool too. Oh. <laughs> no, it's all right. I was leaving little spaces, but that's okay. We can draw them different, right? Yeah. Okay, and um, then let's come over here and we'll add one more V for this side. Perfect. Okay, now we need to add the blossoms. And this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're just gonna draw little wave lines. So we're gonna draw little U shapes like this, and some of them can be big and some small. This is a lot like just drawing a regular tree, mm -hmm. but we're gonna color it differently at the end. Okay, now I'm gonna draw little waves on this one or U-shapes that are connected. And then maybe also over here on this one and this one way over here. This is where the branches are going into the tree. Let's draw the outside shape of our tree. I'm gonna start right here close to the top of this branch or the end of it. And we're gonna do the same thing, some of the little Bumps can be small and some can be big. And we'll come all the way over here. Looks like the letter C, that's bumpy. Okay, now we could draw, let's draw another big huge shape that's coming up higher. Yeah. Good job. And we could do even more. Let's do another shape that comes out further close to the edge of our paper and comes down right there. Now we're gonna use overlapping. We're gonna imagine the shape, the outside shape of the tree going behind this branch and coming over and connecting to the middle branch. Let's do the same thing. Imagine it going through that one and connecting to this branch. And I connected it so that it looks like it's going through and connecting to the outside shape. Now let's draw the grass or the ground. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line right here, connecting the bottom of our tree and go maybe even past on each side. Then I'm gonna come up a little higher and we're gonna draw more zigzags coming out even further for our grass. And I'm also, making it go down on the ends, but you could just go straight out if you want. 
That looks really cool, Hadley. Uh, let's add blossoms that are falling from our tree. So I'm gonna draw a little pebbles. oval shape. Yeah, uh, yeah, it does look like pebbles falling because one of my favorite things to do when we go on a walk and Olivia, shape the tree. yeah, <laughs> Olivia is underneath the blossom, a tree with a bunch of blossoms. I shake the tree, and, and they just go. It looks like it's raining. Yeah, blossoms. or snowing. Yeah. <laughs> And we did it, Hadley. We finished drawing our cherry blossom tree, although we still need to do one more step to make it look even cooler. We need to color it so it won't look like a normal tree. Yeah. <laughs> Let's color it pink. This part's gonna be fun. We're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We used a light pink and a dark pink to add the blossoms. We used the dark pink to add shading and also texture. So it looks like there's a lot. Yeah, a lot of blossoms. Then we also used a brown and a dark brown for the tree trunk. And we used the dark brown to add texture to make it look rough. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your cherry blossom tree. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.